Meeting the King has kind of been a long time coming uh, because my thinking on this has sort of grown and stretched and been challenged in important ways. When I started the Cultural Liturgies Project with Desiring the Kingdom, I would have envisioned that the last volume would have been something like Hauerwas for Kuyperians, that, that, uh, um, that sort of message of a counterformative polis, of the church as an alternative to society, was exactly what me and my uh, uh, reformed confreres needed to hear. And I still think that's true, but what's happened is in the meantime, I've been challenged and spent a lot of time with uh, the work of St. Augustine, and particularly in the City of God. And I've been really deeply challenged by the work of a British theologian and ethicist named Oliver O'Donnell. Awaiting the King could be sort of like trying to rewrite the City of God for 21st century North America. What's fascinating is when, when Augustine is analyzing the Roman Empire, he does a liturgical analysis. He, he reads the rituals and rites and liturgies of the public square in order to see what does this people love and what do they long for and what do we do with that as Christians uh, when you encounter political idolatries. So in that sense, Awaiting the King is, is sort of like a remix, uh, a mixtape of Augustine and O'Donovan, hopefully as a gift for Christian practitioners to make sense of how to live in this messy, broken, fallen, but hopeful world.